Dolly family. How's everyone doing? <clears throat> I hope you're all doing well. I am doing well. Um, things are slowly getting back to normal for me and I'm trying to get back in the groove of things. I have been so excited lately because I have started my Lee Middleton collection. Um, a doll that I have seen um, so much, the Lee Middleton dolls, but I had never really taken the time to start my collection of Lee Middletons because I was always so much into the um, more reborn dolls, as they call them. Um, but now I have started my Lee Middleton collection, and um, this is the first one in my collection. Um, dog, I can't even think of her name now. Um, she is the Awake. She's one of the Awake sculpts, and this is actual and original doll that was done by Lee Middleton. Lee Middleton dolls usually have wigs. Um, I think they were, I was looking and I've been doing my research on them. Some of them, I think it's a few of them that do have rooted hair, but most of them have wigs. And I'm kind of thinking about maybe changing her wig because on some sides, her hair does not come all the way down as far as this wig. And you all know I like curly hair. I like curly hair. I love her skin tone. Um, and I love the fact that they can suck their thumbs. Um, she does have an open mouth. I'll show you. Right here. And I have posted pictures of her on Instagram um, because I was just so excited to get her because I got her yesterday. And I got her yesterday. And I also have two other Lee Middleton dolls that I have not opened yet. And then I have another one coming. Um, <clears throat> It'll probably be next week. So, all together, I will have four Lee Middleton babies in, a, in my collection, and I am so excited. I have been going and doing research and reading some things about um, Lee Middleton, you know, when she passed and how she started her business, and it's just been so fascinating and how she started out. And it's just been an amazing story, and I just thought, you know, I just have to start a collection of her dolls because she has been, she was such an inspiration for people and people in the doll community, you know, to, to want to know someone who started from the beginning and made these dolls. And she was a Christian. She was a Christian. And that was another thing that was just so amazing to me too. <clears throat> a woman who loved the Lord and who put her heart and soul into making dolls and with each doll have a little bible with them to spread that joy and spread the good news so it was just it's just um it was just so fascinating for me and i was just so excited to start but this is my first one <clears throat> and i finally gave her the name i said i was going to name her coco laymen maylin her name is coco this is coco um I have had so named so many of my dolls with my initials because in my family we have the initials JC after my dad and my mom's initials are CM. So with my Lee Middleton collection, I'm going to be going with names that go with my mom's initials. So my Lee Middleton babies will be having names that start on um, the first name will be C and the middle name will be M. So when you start seeing those, that's my Lee Middleton. But this is Coco, and she is so cuddly. Um, <clears throat> this doll, pretty much you can see she has a quarter limbs, a quarter arms limbs, and then a quarter leg limbs, which makes her so cuddly. I have not done any reweighing for her <clears throat> on her. And, you know, and I do apologize because in the... Um, in my Instagram post, I have put that she's 20 inches, but I do believe she is 18. I believe she's 18 inches because she does not look like she's 20 inches to me. Um, and originally, I think that's what she was posted for. But I did get this um, off of eBay from a um, seller who was selling her. And I mean, when I saw her, I just thought she was beautiful. I have gone ahead and pierced her ears. She has her ears pierced now. And this is not the passy that she came with. Um, she does have a passy that she came with, but it's like it was pretty much stuffed into her mouth. I don't want them real, real tight in her mouth, but um, I'm just excited. And then she had uh, eyelashes at first, but the eyelashes were coming off. And so I, you know, I think she looks nice, you know, without them. And if I decide to put um, 
eyelashes on her, I'll do that, but she's a baby. So I think what she's got now is pretty nice because she has some pretty eyes. I just, I love her. And I love how she feels. This is such a comfort, comforting baby. It kind of reminds me of the cuddle babies because the cuddle babies, um, because of their cloth bodies, the way you can hold them and you can position them in different ways. And that's how it is with Coco. Coco can be positioned all kinds of ways. And look how she sits. She sits and her body just goes with it. So I'm, I was very surprised that to get this doll, she was already really weighted. If you can see her hair right here, and which it's nothing wrong with her wig, except for the fact that on one side, which is over here, um, you can tell that you know the wig is not all the way down so that's why i was kind of looking into getting like a um a curly wig for her um but i haven't been able to find anything yet so i'm going to keep looking but this is cute right now and this is the little outfit she came with and the headband that she came with and i'm going to be changing her into some another another little outfit because i did get um some zero to three outfits for her and for her sister. And then the other lead nose trim that I have is gonna be a boy. <laughs> I was thinking about making him a girl, but I think he would be really cute as a boy. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And so just guys, keep looking for updates from me with my Lee Middleton collection. You all know I have um I have Reborns, you know I have Ashton Drake, and you know, you know I have silicones. You know I have other other dolls. I've never shown you my Barbie collection and I've never shown you my vintage babies, which I consider this like a vintage baby too, even though she's not vintage for me, but this is an older version doll. But I'm trying to get things together so I can bring out more on my channel so you can see and we can share different things um, with our collection. But I just had to bring her and show you and I wanted to come today live and let you know that I have named her. This is Coco Maylin. Coco, C-O-C-O, -O, and May Lynn, M-A-E-L-Y-N-N -N is her middle name. And this is my little girl. This is my very first Lee Middleton. Actually, I say she's my very first, but she, her brother, and her other sister, um, well, the first one, I have to say, take that back. I haven't opened her yet, but she came a day before um, Coco, Coco did. So, but I haven't opened her yet. It's been hectic. I've been busy at work. <laughs> busy in theater practice and busy doing a lot of things but I just I had to open her because her box is right on my bed so I said I had to open her so guys just keep looking and stay and stay tuned because Hyman is bringing in her Lee Middleton collection and I'll be doing some things on my Lee Middleton Jackson is still with me I don't have him with me today he's home He's resting on the bed. He's with Nanny and Papa. But um, Coco is with me today, and I just had to bring so she could see you and see her. So, guys, you have a great day. Um, I'll be coming back to you with more things. Remember, don't let anyone steal your joy. You know, that's my thing. Don't let anyone steal your joy. We have been had some ups and downs. I think everyone has, um, not just in my family, but... Um, families around the world people have been doing dealing with things you know have been dealing with losses have been dealing with hardships uh, because of covid and so many other things but you know what god still has his hands on us everybody he still has his hands on us and he is still in the blessing business so i ask you all to continue to pray for me as i pray for you continue to show love and compassion throughout the community um, no, not the reborn community, the dog collecting community. As Springflower says, this is a dog connection. It's a connection, and so we need to continue to connect with one another in love. In love. Jesus came, and he sacrificed his life for us, and he did that because he loved us. You know, who else is going to lay their life down for someone else? Who? For millions and millions of people knowing that they're doing all kinds of things, being ugly to one another, just don't even care. Most of the time, don't even acknowledge him. But he came and laid down his life, gave his life for us. Whew, you all just don't know. That's enough right there to make you understand that love is the key. Love is the key for everything. We don't have time. And there's so much going on in the world. You know, so much, so much disaster, so much killing, so many things happening. We don't have time for that. 
we don't. What we have time for is to get ourselves together and remember, remember who died for us, spared his life for us. And remember that so that we can remember that we need to share and we need to spread love, not hatred, you know, not, not distrust and, you know, just hate, love. So everybody, you have a good day. Once again, Hymas Adorable Cuties is out. I love you guys. And I hope, you know, I, I hold a place in your heart as well because you all do for me. When I watch your channels, it's just so inspirational to me. The ones who are positive, you're just such an inspiration. And please continue to be that way. Don't let the ugliness of the world and things around stop you from enjoying your hobby and enjoying what you love doing. Again, guys, have a good day and God bless you. Bye-bye for now. Say bye-bye, Coco. Bye-bye.